it is my turn to step up to the craft cam and talk to you about FlipPal. This is a mobile scanning device. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on over to my craft cam to show you how this works. This is the Flip Pal, and it is the most incredible mobile scanner, and it comes with everything that you need to scan photos and drawings and other documents. If you've been following the comments for this giveaway, you will see all of the different ways that all of you have found that you want to use your own Flip Pal, including, of course, taking it to the library and scanning recipes. It's perfect for genealogy. How about those family gatherings where, you know, you talk about, oh, you know, at some point we'll share these photos. Well, you could take your Flip Pal along with you and actually scan photos at a gathering. So let me show you here. It's so easy to get started. It's really as simple as taking it out of the box and turning the switch to on. It runs on four AA batteries, and they're already installed, so you just activate them by removing the battery protect tab, which I've already done. It also comes with a two gigabyte SD memory card. Let me pop this out right here. It comes installed, so this card has something on it. It's a little software program called the FlipPal Toolbox for Windows. And this card, of course, just works like the memory card that you probably have in your digital camera. And let me put this back in. So when you are ready to use your scans, you can just simply transfer them to your computer. It's really, really easy. There's also, a, this is the little SD memory card, which if you needed to, it's a memory card to USB adapter. So if you need that, that's also included in the box when you get your Flip Pal. You will see that there is a screen here. Let me turn this back off and back on because I wanted to read that the memory card is in. There is the little screen that will power down automatically based on the power saver time setting that you choose and you can go in and you can make that setting. And the screen dims after about 60 seconds if it's not used, but you can just press any button to bring the screen back to full brightness. So you see it really helps you think through all of this and preserves those batteries. If you take a close look at the screen here, you will see that there are several icons. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up to my camera, see if I can get a closer shot. You will see that there are several icons, including custom settings and quick tips, and it tells you how many scans are remaining. That's really useful. And you can set the resolution to 300 or 600 DPI, and it also tells you about the battery life. And I'll show you in a moment, after you scanned, this screen actually shows the progress of your scanning. So in addition to using the screen for your settings, you'll be able to see what you have scanned. So there's buttons down here to scroll through your um, different, I'm gonna push this because I want my battery to light that again. So uh, that's basically the Flip Pal. And of course it opens up here. And let's go ahead and scan our first item, which I just grabbed this out of a box that I have of my family history. And can you see here how ceremoniously, um, unceremoniously, this has been ripped out of an old album. If, if I had wanted to uh, preserve that album years ago when I ripped this out, I really could have used my Flip Pal because I wouldn't have had to tear this page out. So basically you can, this is just standard scanning and it's really easy. You can scan originals up to four inches by six inches and you just open up this lid and place your original face down and there's a little arrow up in the corner here that tells me that's where I want to line it up. And then I close the lid and there's this green button that's on the side and so I am scanning. So the scan is done when that image shows on the display, just like I told you it would. There it is. So now your scan is stored on that SD memory card. 
Is that cool? But wait until you see what else this does. The reason it's called the Flip Pal is you can flip it over and scan other things. So what you first have to do is you remove this from the top. That was that lid. And on the back, there is a protector that you take off. And now I can scan other things. Say that you have, oh, I don't know, some a, another book or something that you want to scan. And you, um, or it has a big, let me bring up another example here. This is a great example. If you have a book that has a really big spine to it, and that it's really hard to put that down on your scanner, well, you can open up your page, place this down, and you can scan. Is that the coolest? Now, of course, I can align this because there's guidelines in here and I can see all the way through. And so it's really easy to move it around on the page where I want it. So once again, that scan has been put, I can see here it's on my SD card. And so it's also in the window. But what happens if you have something larger than this window that you want to scan? Well, <laughs> let me show you this. So here's a piece of art that I did. And as you can see, it's definitely bigger than what I can scan in one area. So here's the coolest thing. It has a feature that's called stitching. So I just lay this down over my original. And I can follow my guidelines. And here I just want to do my first scan. So because I have the guidelines, I can move this and make sure that I overlap by about an inch, and I can scan again. The main screen is for, scans four by six inch images, but what I'm doing now is utilizing the feature called stitching. So I'm going to do six scans of this original. And it scans on the first run through, so I can go ahead and move this while it's still setting itself back up. So this is my fourth scan. And the reason I want to show you all of this is we're actually going to go to my computer so you can see how this works. And this is the fifth scan. And again, I'm using my guidelines here. And as you can see, yes, it does scan very fast. So now I'm coming down to my sixth scan on this particular size. I think this is probably 8.5 by 11 or 8 by 10. And the great thing is that when you overlap it, when you're scanning, they don't have to be perfectly aligned because the, the software that's in this card is going to do that for us. So as you can see, that was my last scan. It's in the window here. And I'm going to take out my card. And it tells me right away that my memory card has been taken out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my camera, going to twist it around to my computer screen so that you can see what just happened. I put that SD card into my computer, and I'm working on Windows. And yes, this does work on Mac also. So you can see right here that it's telling me that, do I want to open up the toolbox? So I open that up, and here's my choices. I can browse my scans, I can stitch my scans, and I can work on restoring color. And also, there's lots of other choices. You can print out a user's guide, and there's other questions, a direct link to FlipPal. But what I want to do right now is I just want to go in and I want to browse the scans that are there. And these are the scans that I just made on the show. So you can see that was the first one. That was the 4x6. 
Here's the uh, page of the book that I did, and then the six scans for my artwork. So I see that they're all there. Now I want to go back and show you how to stitch these. So I'm going to open up the file. And it's telling me I have to select open. And now what I'm going to do is use my keyboard to highlight these. All right, so those are the six scans. And what it does is it automatically stitches these together for you. So it's going to go through and render these. So uh, we're going to wait for that. And while it's doing that, I also wanted to remind you again all of the other ways that you can use this. I can see how I would use my flip pal would be a lot to do with magazines because I, I get a lot of magazines that my sisters and I share and we don't want to uh, tear them apart. And so if I scan for inspiration and save it on the card, it will make it so much easier to keep that inspiration and then let my sisters have a magazine where the pages aren't pulled out. There you go. It has just stitched that image back together. Is that the coolest? <laughs> yes, it's a big wow. So remember, if you have a larger original, you would just scan more. This took six scans, and you can see it's put it together uh, perfectly. Let me go back here and just make sure. And what it did, it took all six of those, and then it saved the seventh image as the entire scan. So it does that for you all automatically. One thing that I also want to show you is I'm going to move, because I forgot to do this before I actually moved my camera. Let's um, move this back because I want to show you. Uh, say you had a picture on the wall, <laughs> because I don't have one close by here that I can actually show you. I put this image on, on the side of my file cabinet, so just in case you have an image on the wall that you want to scan. So I have my flip pal here, and again, I'm going to put it face down. So imagine that this is an image that on the wall, say you have something framed and you want to scan it. You just hold your flip pal in place right over the image on the wall, and you scan. And now that scan is right in my flip pal. It's on that SD card, and we're ready to go. There's a banner at the bottom of the home page at cooltocraft.com. If any of you are thinking of purchasing the flip pal right now, you can go there and you can purchase this. And I want to put the top back on it while I'm talking. And We'd love it if you would link through Cool to Craft so that they know that we have sent you over to FlipPal. And if you want any more information in the meantime, you can go to FlipPal.com. It is battery-powered, Kareen, and it runs off of four AA batteries. And here's a couple of other notes because you're probably asking, well, how many scans can I get? On an alkaline battery, you can get approximately 150 scans. And photolithium, here you go, 450 scans. If you use a rechargeable battery, which is great, great for the environment, you can do 120 scans, so that's great. Bring your recharger with you, and you can get about 120 scans per uh, recharge.